Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Monday, September 22nd, around 8 p.m. Mountain Time, 2025. The geomagnetic storm has been pushed forward to later tonight, so we're waiting for that to arrive. The plasma stream is coming, but the density is dropping, so what is going on? Also, we have an earthquake rocking the San Francisco Bay Area overnight. 4.3 magnitude breaking windows. We'll have more on that in a moment with snow forecast in the Rockies. Keep calm. It's boom time. Fall officially arrives with the autumnal equinox. It occurred today, just a little afternoon here, mountain time. Oh, and many people were asking. They said in their area, it wasn't equal day and night. Well, that's because the equinox is measured at the equator. And most of us live in higher latitudes uh, where it actually happens a few days later. One killed as severe storms collapse walls, or overturn RVs and semis in Denton County. Storms ripped through several North Texas counties on Sunday. Severe flood threat impacts the central U.S. today and tomorrow. We'll have the full forecast in a moment. Snow is in the forecast for Colorado's mountains, with the Continental Divide expected to see the most. We'll have those models in just a moment. Is hurricane season heating up? Forecasters are tracking Gabriel and two waves in the Atlantic. We talked about them yesterday, and we'll talk about them again right now. Gabriel, still a hurricane. Maximum sustained winds now at 140 miles per hour. That is a very strong storm right there. I think that's Cat 4. And there should be some pretty dangerous conditions here offshore of Bermuda. Swells generated by Gabriel will continue to affect Bermuda and the east coast of the U.S. from North Carolina northward, as well as Atlantic Canada during the next couple days. These swells are likely to cause life-threatening surf and rip currents. Please consult products from your local weather office. And don't go into the ocean. Disturbance 2 has a 50% chance of cyclone formation. Disturbance 1, an 80% chance. And Gabriel is... Packing a punch with maximum sustained winds at 140. And now the full forecast. Severe thunderstorms and flash flooding for the central U.S. through Tuesday. Dangerous East Coast beach conditions. And that's care of that Cat 4 Hurricane Gabriel. You can see the flash flooding and the flood threats here in the green across four states. Thunderstorms ahead of an approaching cold front will impact much of the central U.S. through Tuesday. Severe thunderstorms and flash flooding are forecast for portions of the central and southern plains and the Mississippi, Ohio, and Tennessee valleys. Meanwhile, dangerous waves and rip currents will impact portions of the east coast as tropical activity increases in the Atlantic. Let's take a look at the severe weather currently moving across the U.S. We've got a lot going on. 14 severe weather warnings occurring right now, including in Wisconsin, Nebraska, Colorado, Iowa, South Dakota, Kansas, New Mexico, Wisconsin. Holy macaroni. Look at all those boxes. A line of storms moving through northern Iowa over towards Milwaukee. We've got some activity in eastern uh, Colorado into Kansas and a huge front moving through Ohio now moving east. Forecast models, move it through. Here's your Tuesday. So we have that severe weather and flash flooding threat starting in the morning, starting right now through tomorrow, right there. Here's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And let's see if we could pick up some of that snowfall in the Rockies. There it is, up in the higher elevations. And that snow will be coming down uh, Tuesday. Yeah, on Tuesday, right there on the Continental Divide. Some snow in Canada building. Eastern Canada should see a little pop here at the end of September. And, well, not a lot of snow on the model right here. That's about it. Early snow in the Alps. Siberian snow cover expands. More incoming. Yeah, it's true. 
Early snow for the Alps. The latest GFS run pro project uh, completed cold core low embedded in the polar jet stream around 300 hectopascals, 9 kilometers over the Alps by October 1st. This setup is primed to deliver heavy snowfall, dragging snow lines all the way down below 5,000 feet. Snow depth forecasts show 30 centimeters setting across wide swaths of central and eastern Alps by midweek. What a tweak. Take a look at the GFS model in the Alps and we'll move it through and snow will start to fall in the Alps as early as Wednesday. There you can see it accumulating rapidly through the end of the week and into the weekend. So heavy snow coming to the Alps. Some areas could be picking up several feet and then look, another system on that could be bringing it up to over a meter by the first week of October. So it's going to be a banner ski season in the Alps. An earthquake with 4.3 magnitude rocks, San Francisco Bay Area. More than 22,000 people report feeling early morning quake, which occurred east-southeast of Berkeley. The magnitude was 4.3. The quake hit just south-southeast of Berkeley, California. No injuries or major damage was reported, but some businesses said windows were broken and merchandise tumbled from the shelves. Residents were jolted awake just before 3 a.m. Seismic update. No real quakes of note. Continued rumbling on the Kamchatka. That 4.3 we just told you about. And some aftershocks happening in Berkeley. A 5.4 in Maraya Morelos, Mexico. Uh, An overall pretty low-level activity worldwide. That brings us to Worldwide Volcano News. We've got Liwotolo to 7,000 feet. Reventador, 15,000-foot blast. Fuego, volcanic ash likely. Ibu to 7,000 feet. Liwotolo, um, 7,000-foot puff there. Let me get a little coffee. Popo to 20,000 feet. Sangay to 21,000 feet. Liwotobi to 15,000 feet. Raventador, 15,000 foot there. Fuego to 15,000. Ibu to 7,000. Katmai on the list, 6,000 foot puff. Liwotolo to 7,000. Fuego, possible volcanic gas. Swanosima, 7,000 foot blast. Shivalush, 14,000 foot there. Merapi to 12,000. Sangay, possible volcanic ash. Raventador to 15,000 feet. And wrapping up the list is Popo with a 21,000 foot blast. Uh, bringing us... The space weather. We are waiting on a G1 geomagnetic storm. Here's the forecast. And we're sitting right about here at the end of September 22nd. Telemetry showing no storming in the forecast here. We're sitting at 500 kilometers per second. Density is dropping. The BZ is slowly shifting south. We will enter geomagnetic storm if the BZ shifts south here towards minus 10. The density increases and the speed pops up a little bit. This is all care to coronal hole number 80, which is now past us. And there's another trans-equatorial coronal sliver here, which will be a one-two punch for plasma. But nothing happening now. And if it does tonight, go over to Solar Ham to watch. Get out and look up. And we've got some good news with the death of these two hunters that Rex and I went out searching for. They did not freeze to death. They did not die of exposure. They did not die, suffer in fear. That's good news. The bad news is they were struck by lightning. Both of them were found under a tree with burns to their body. So the conclusion is they died instantly. The hunters, in fact, were found below a tree and had slight burns on their bodies. He said the hunters' deaths were likely instantaneous, but he could not confirm the exact time of death. That kind of death is just instant. It's like you're alive and now you're not, Martin said. Just that quick, a split second. It's official that a lightning strike to the ground took them in an instant. They didn't do anything wrong. They didn't feel fear or pain, Murphy wrote in a Facebook post. He was just trying to get back to the car as storms rolled in Friday. So our hearts, thoughts, and prayers go out to these two young guys. And... Thank God it was quick. And that's a boom to knowledge. Hit the thumbs up, share the video, but most importantly, subscribe to the channel. We are trying to hit 100,000 subs by the end of the year, and we need your help to do that. So hit the button and hit the bell for maybe some notifications. We love each and every one of you. Be safe. And that is a boom.
nee, nee, nee. 